to me, and this is just me personally, I think it's as hard as it ever has been to be a wrestling fan. Opinions are like assholes, and everybody's got one, and they all stink. But it's like, no matter what opinion you have about professional wrestling, everybody's got some bullshit to say about it. That goes for me, crapping on your opinion. That goes for you, crapping on mine. Others, crapping on others. Da, 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 you get the idea. So we can't, like, even unite around one person that everybody thinks is cool, because everybody, one way or another, has got to have something to say about some damn body. To me, honestly, shit's just not very good right now. Hasn't been for a little while. I don't care the company. It's either one thing or another. All of them, to me, have significant problems in terms of me being able to take them seriously and or enjoy them as professional wrestling shows. Doesn't matter the company, you name it, they got fleas all over the damn place. I don't think the wrestlers in the business are all that great, especially when it comes to acting like stars, and I most certainly don't think that these companies in a lot of ways help these guys to learn how to become stars and actually treat them like stars and actually help make them stars. That's the WWE, and frankly, it's the rest of them too. And you look at it, there's so much product out there now, and a lot of it's not good. I've got a very simple question for a lot of you. How the hell can you watch this much professional wrestling? Like, this is nuts. This is insane. It feels like there's more major wrestling than there ever has been, and it's as bad as it ever has been and maybe ever will be. Now, I'm sure it can find ways to be worse. I would have said the same thing five years ago, and lo and behold, it found ways to become worse. But I'm dead serious here. Like, how can so many people watch so much professional wrestling? Have our standards drop that much to where we accept anything and pretend like it's good? Have we been desensitized so much and allowed ourselves to become so simplistic as fans that all the instant gratification, quick hitting, high spot, flippy, kicky, twisty bullshit is now what we think is great? Or if we want to be contrarian to that, we think guys with the personality of paint drying, uh, with crappy characters that are forced down our throats, that those are okay and they're not that bad. Like, what the fuck happened to wrestling, man? And then to top it all off, the wrestling business has a significant addiction to shows that are way too fucking long. It's bad enough I already work one full-time job, which is going to require 40 hours a week. Now I'm working a second job that's requiring me about 30 hours a week. So I'm thinking about it like this weekend. I know that New Japan Dominion show is coming up. I, I've been fair. Watch some of those too. Try to find something else to watch when it comes to professional wrestling because God knows the WWE hasn't been providing me anything I've needed for quite a period of time now. But then when I ask on Twitter, because I had to work when the show was actually going on, so I didn't watch it live, I asked, how long was this damn show? And knowing, because it's New Japan, and knowing how much the hardcore fans apparently love their shows to be way too fucking long, I get answers from like five to five and a half hours, and it was funny, like nobody even freaking knew the true length of the damn show. But who in the fuck wants to watch Five plus hours of wrestling, and I'm sorry, you can take that whole, well, if it's good, it doesn't matter shit, and pound it up your fucking ass. Because at some point in time, it crosses over from being, it doesn't matter how long it is, if it's good, that's all it means, it matters. At some point in time, it crosses over into companies don't know what the fuck they're doing. They can't say no to anybody. They sit there and create it almost like a socialistic wrestling now. And that's basically what the fuck we've got. Everybody gets an opportunity. Everybody gets to be on the show. And it's a whole bunch of bullshit. We don't need to see five plus hours of professional wrestling on a given day. Sometimes less is more. Quality over quantity, for God's sakes. Especially when I'm thinking about... You know, it's one thing to watch it live and say, okay, you get caught up in the moment, you set aside that time, what have you. But when I'm trying to fit it into a schedule of working about 70 plus hours a week, and then still on top of that, having to sit here 
and come on here and record videos about sports and record videos about wrestling on this particular channel. And I sit there and find out that this goddamn show is five plus hours long. Why the hell would I want to watch the whole goddamn thing? And even in that case, the highlights of it is Chris Jericho in his 40s winning a mid-card New Japan title. whoop the fucking do Oh my God, Okada and Omega had another fucking classic. It wouldn't matter if it sucked or not. So many of you be circle jerking with Meltzer giving it fucking Milky Way star ratings. Like how many times you need to see the same fucking bullshit? Every match is way too goddamn long. Every match is basically worked the same. All of these characters are the same. And I'm not just talking about New Japan here. And so often, when I have some contrarian asshat sit there and try to tell me, well, this is different or that is different, the fundamental truth is, no, the fuck they're not. Like you look at WWE with Money in the Bank. What's that show going to be? Four plus hours? The even bigger shows are going to be five plus hours? You know, there comes a point in time where you're just absolutely showing no regard to your fans and their lives whatsoever. And contrary to what other people outside of professional wrestling fan circle believe, uh, wrestling fans have jobs sometimes too, and they have lives sometimes too, and don't want to sit there and have to burn fucking five plus hours of a day for watching one stupid ass show that wasn't even the biggest show of the year. Like, my God. Like, that has absolutely no appeal to, for me to go back and rewatch it. It's one thing if it's two and a half, it's three hours, then it could be like, hey, that's not too bad. That's the length of a long movie. Now you're talking about me basically burning an entire morning or an entire evening or an entire afternoon watching what ultimately amounts to a double feature of professional wrestling. Like, seriously, how the fuck do you guys do it? There's some of you out there that watch three hours of a mostly crappy Raw every week, two hours of a mostly crappy SmackDown every week. Some of you might even go into the danger zone of watching Impact Wrestling for two damn hours, watching NXT for a freaking hour. Then you're watching some form of New Japan and or ROH with the garbage-ass television they put out. And then you're watching all these special events slash pay-per-views. Like, how do you guys do it? Like, I would go insane. I would go nuts especially with as bad as it is. And even if it's really good, there comes a point in time where enough is goddamn enough. It almost feels like we need to have a wrestling intervention here. Five plus hours for a damn pay-per-view that isn't even your biggest show of the year is too damn much. Having regular pay-per-views, not even your big four, but your regular pay-per-views be four hours plus is way too goddamn much. Not to mention the fact that the product in and of itself is bad. It's just a time kill, and it's kind of, to me, a slap in the face to fans to sit there and say, fuck you, we don't care if you have lives or not. We're expecting you to sit there and watch most of this boring bullshit. And that's a lot of what wrestling is now. It's flips, it's kicks, it's guys that can't talk on the mic to save their fucking lives, and guys that can't work to fucking do anything. These are guys that don't know how to be characters. They're lame asses. The difference between them and us is they were idiotic enough to get into a line of entertainment that probably significantly decreases their average life expectancy, takes a massive toll on their body, and oh, by the way, they don't get any health insurance along the fucking way. I don't know how you guys do it. What is it? Have you just gotten rid of your standards? Or have you found a couple of things to really latch onto and really hold on to and say, you know what, that's still why I love professional wrestling and that's still why I stick with it after all these years. Are you guys that bored? Or you do have nothing better to do with your lives? Because I don't know. I don't get it. This is the epitome of oversaturation. Too much of a good thing is a bad thing. Too much of a mediocre to bad thing is absolutely shitty. You wonder why people like me have not gotten to the point where they're very jaded and cynical about this even more than they ever have been and have less patience for it than they ever have been and watch less of it than I ever have. And the simple reason is, is because most of this crap absolutely sucks and it takes up even more time to give me that absolute fucking suck. So I don't know what you guys do. I don't know how you do it. I don't know if you get drunk or stoned or fucking baked off of your goddamn minds. You're sitting there having circle jerks of masturbation sessions to Kenny Omega Okada matches. I don't know, but clue me in because God knows I'm looking for something to help me figure it out. I'm looking for something to help make wrestling fun again. And it just gets worse. 
How do you do it? You guys have got to be either machines or absolutely insane.